The next calibration to perform is yield calibration. Yield calibration teaches the system that a given voltage from the flow sensor equals a certain amount of force measured as crop strikes the sensor. This force is measured in pounds, which is then converted to yield. Yield calibration must be performed after moisture calibration because the crop weight and yield will be affected by the crop moisture. To begin, press the calibrations button on the main screen in the AFS Pro 600. Then press the Yield tab to access the Yield Calibration screen. The Fast Calibration is intended to be used for quick and simple calibrations using only one load for calibration. The single load calibration is not as accurate as a multiple load calibration. The Advanced Calibration is intended for advanced users who understand calibration principles and assumes that the operator has already collected all the information necessary for the calibration. It is recommended to use the wizard which is shown in this video. The wizard is a step-by-step -step calibration system that walks the operator through the necessary steps for a highly accurate calibration using multiple loads. Press the wizard button to begin the yield calibration wizard. Then press the run wizard button to begin the calibration wizard. An information pop-up appears. Ensure that the grain tank is empty and that both distance and moisture calibrations have been performed. Press OK to clear the pop-up. As in the moisture calibration, select or create the desired grower. In this video, the desired grower is already selected. Press Proceed when the desired grower is displayed. Select or create the desired farm. In this video, the desired farm is already selected. Press Proceed when the desired farm is displayed. Select or create the desired field. In this video, the desired field is already selected. Press Proceed when the desired field is displayed. Press the Crop Type window to select the desired crop type to be used for yield calibration. In this video, the desired crop type is already selected. Press Proceed when the desired crop type is displayed. The display automatically creates a new task, named with a timestamp representing the current date and time. In addition, a pound sign is placed by default at the beginning of the task name. This symbol allows for easy identification of yield calibration tasks. The task name can be left as is or can be edited. In this video, the name is edited to suit the operator's need. Note that the operator removes the pound symbol but creates a name that also allows for easy identification of this task as a yield calibration task. Press Proceed when the desired task name is displayed. In the next screen, you'll select the flow rate to be used for this calibration task. The Case IH AFS flow sensor requires at least one low flow, one medium flow, and one high flow calibration task for accurate performance across the range of crop flow you may encounter in your combine. Use the flow type window to select the desired flow rate. The right hand side of this screen lists the flow ranges and number of yield wizard tasks that have already been harvested in each range. Press proceed when the desired flow rate is displayed. An informational screen is displayed. This screen provides a summary of the upcoming yield calibration process. Take the time to review the instructions on this screen. Press the Tips button at the bottom of the screen or see your operator's manual for additional information if needed. Engage the separator in feeder if they're not already engaged. Press the Start button when you're ready to begin harvesting crop for yield calibration. While harvesting, the Yield Calibration Wizard screen displays wet weight, average wet flow in pounds per hour, area, and average wet flow in bushels per hour. Some versions of display software also include a target flow rate bar graph to assist the operator in maintaining a consistent target flow rate. The software portrayed in this video does not include this feature. If you wish to view other values, Simply navigate to the desired screen. The calibration process will continue uninterrupted. Return to the yield calibration screen to complete the calibration process. 
when the desired crop volume has been harvested. Stop the combine and allow crop inside the combine to finish processing. Then press the stop button in the lower right corner of the display. Now obtain an actual weight for the harvested task. You may use a scale cart, elevator scale ticket, or other trusted source for actual weight. Ensure that the measuring device itself has been calibrated and proven to provide accurate results. The accuracy of your AFS yield calibration is dependent on the accuracy of the actual weight value you enter. In this video, the combine is unloading into a grain cart with an integrated scale. If you have immediate access to the actual weight for this task, press Enter Actual Now. If you'll need to send the crop away to be sampled and will enter the actual task weight later, press Enter Actual Later. In this example, we will enter the actual value now. The screen displays instructions for completing the yield calibration procedure. Read the instructions, then use the actual window to enter the actual weight for this task. The wet weight measured by the AFS flow sensor for this task is displayed to the left of the actual window. Once an actual weight value is entered, the system automatically calculates the percentage of error between the measured and actual values. This percentage of error is displayed. A very high percentage of error, greater than 10%, typically indicates a mechanical or electrical problem that must be resolved before accurate calibrations can be achieved. If the percentage of error is acceptable, press the Calibrate button to calibrate the yield sensor. A pop-up window appears. Press No to apply the new yield calibration only to the current task and future data. Press Yes to apply the calibrations to all data in the display for the selected crop. In this example, the operator presses Yes, which applies the new yield calibration to all future and previous data in the display for the selected crop. Press Repeat to repeat the Yield Calibration Wizard for another task, or press Done to leave the Yield Calibration Wizard. The Yield Calibration Wizard can be re-entered at any time. In this example, the operator presses Done, then navigates to the main screen. He is now free to go to the Run screens, Diagnostics, or any other area of the display, and to continue normal operation. This concludes the Case IH-20 Series Axial Flow Combine Yield Monitor Calibration video. Remember to refer to your Yield Monitor Operator's Manual or contact your local Case IH dealer if you have questions or need additional information. Thanks for watching and happy harvesting.